Hey, good morning. This is going to be a quick tutorial for how to do peer to peer fundraising on just giving. So if you have any questions after this tutorial, please feel free to reach out to Susan Fennell at sfennell at sturgeweber.org. Her email address is also on the web page that this video tutorial is housed on. So the first thing you want to do is go to justgiving.com. And if you don't already have an account, you'll want to go to sign up. And when you click sign up, you'll just enter your name, last first name, last name, email address, and create a password and sign up. I would recommend checking the no thanks for emails. Um, that's more or less for people that are administrators like the foundation is. So click no thanks and then click sign up. Once you have an actual account, you can then go and log in on the main page. And as you can see, um, I have several different accounts, but let me go in. I've already created a test fundraising account. So let me go in and pull that up for you. And let's do that. And they always want you to test. So make sure you test, check, I'm sorry, I'm not a robot. And then click continue. All right, so you have your profile page and you can add your picture. Um, it will, on this dashboard, it'll show you how many donations you have, how, um, any type of fundraisers that you are having now or in the past. And also will show if you have any team members that are participating in your particular fundraiser. If you haven't started fundraising yet, you click the start fundraising page button. Then it'll take you to a page to search, search for the nonprofit organization that you're interested in supporting. So you would type in the Sturge Weber Foundation, click the search button, and scroll down. And we are down here past the campaigns that already exist, and you would select the Sturge Weber Foundation. And so what this does is that it will link you to the foundation. Um, you can have a myriad of different things. You might be doing something uh, that is going to be fitness room involved, um, emergency aid, maybe a virtual gathering that you're gonna have a registration fee or silent auction. Uh, maybe you're gonna have a gaming event. Um, any type of, uh, even birthdays, like for example, oftentimes people run fundraisers on Facebook and they say it's my birthday and they do the network to good um, that helps raise funds on Facebook. You can do that here, you can do memorials or just like it says, do your own thing. So once you've selected what you want to do, then you would press the start button. And then you tell us about your celebration. Uh, someone's birthday. Um, you put their name in it. Um, then you put the date of their birthday and then choose your fundraising page web address, which would be it right now it's selected Jenny Smith 72 because apparently there are 71 other Jenny Smiths out there, but you can name it whatever you want to name it. Like, you know, you can call it the SWF bash or SWF, you know, team SWF walk, whatever you want to name your particular fundraiser is up to you. So once you have that information in there, choose your fundraising page settings. Um, it will, and if you read this, it says, I'm happy for Sturge Weber Foundation to keep me informed by email about the impact of my fundraising and other ways to stay involved. And so you can click yes to that or no thanks. And then you'll just create your page. And here it will allow you to change your cover. And here's where it gets real fun. You can add, tell them a little bit about yourself. Uh, what is your fundraising goal? 
um, just why are you doing this? Um, it's happy birthday to Susan. Thanks for taking the time to visit. And you can change all of this information and write your own story. You can add your own pages, pa photographs. Um, you can click the, you can view your gallery, um, which I don't have anything listed right here, but you can actually add photos to a gallery and it will be your personal gallery. Um, you can edit your page, which is really a, even more access to different things. You can add live stream video, uh, the actual event. You can actually stream video that you're taking at the event. Uh, edit your title, target, your cover photo. You can change the picture, the color themes, all kinds of photos. Um, personalize thank yous, make those automatic whenever someone provides a donation to your event, you can make that thank you right away. Uh, it gives you a link to share on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, you can even add emails from your contacts in order to shoot this out via an email, which is actually even more personal than having it on your social media page and seems to get a better response, believe it or not, uh, than social media. So you might want to try that out on a couple of uh, folks that you have in your email contact page. Um, you can even add a sponsor me button to your email signature or a website or blog that you actually have. There's even a QR that you can actually plug on printed material. You can take this QR and put it on a, your own personal website. Uh, you can put this even on your Facebook page, wherever you want. This is your personal fundraising page. Um, you can write updates and post them on how everything's going, connect your page with others. This is where you would start a team. And if you start a team, you that's where you would start naming all this information. And then this would actually go and you could send this out to people to join your team. So if you've had any experience with GoFundMe or any of these other free nonprofit platforms out there, which Just Giving is as well, um, then you shouldn't have any problem with this. Uh, once you've taken care of all of these different pieces of the puzzle to create your page, then you literally are just going to say publish and you'll be out there. And that link that you are provided with is what will be sent out to everyone. Now, of course, if you have any questions or run into some problems, then please reach out again to Susan Fennell at sfennell at sturgeweber.org. More than happy to help you and guide you through the process over the telephone, or even if you need to have a teleconference. I hope this was beneficial to you. I hope that you're able to use Just Giving. It's a wonderful way to have your fundraiser and keep in contact with your donors. Have a great day. Thanks. See you soon.